Hola Sombrero Time teachers, I'm here to talk to you about Spanish 1, Unit 8. Can you believe we're on the last unit of the year in the first week? Now, this is a big packed week, and if you need to follow up and finish any of the assessment that you did last week, important to do that in the beginning of this week. And then we have Mother's Day coming up, we have Cinco de Mayo on Thursday, and we have El Jardín, what we do afuera, and then um, the plant, the cycle of life for the plant, which is a very fun activity. It's got some good vocabulary. It's a little bit of science plugged in there, so that's important as well to kind of give them some new vocabulary that they could use potentially when they talk about life cycles in their science. So what I really need you to do is take a look, sit down with your manual, sit down, you know where your class is right now, and I want you to take a look at how you're going to construct this week. Now some of you are Monday to Thursday, which means you're going to be ending with Cinco de Mayo, and some of you are Tuesday to Friday, which means you'll probably have, have Cinco de Mayo on Thursday and then build a Mother's Day card on Friday. So we really want to be sending home a sweet card in Spanish that the kids will have to translate for their parents um, if they don't have that much Spanish, if the moms don't know Spanish. But we really want to send home a card for Mother's Day that they can put their um, tissue paper flower that they're going to make. So make sure you have tissue paper, you have green stem, chenille, um, pipe cleaners is what we call them, and that's the stem of the flower, and then um, construction paper to make a card. So, you only you knows where your class is and what you have to pull from last week and finish up. And if you can move on ahead, go ahead. You're going to have to kind of move around the days from the curriculum. Don't follow it exactly. On when it, whatever day Cinco de Mayo falls on, have that the day where you read, you do the worksheet. You might have to do a um, Oraciones completas that day, and also bring in some music. Make this fun. Maybe have a little dance that you're going to do, but make it a fun day for them. Okay, so that's really all I want to say because I really want you to take a look at your lesson plan. Move the days around accordingly to what you need to get done, and if you get to El Jardín, do a lot of TPR, a lot of acting out. Take them outside. It's beautiful this week. We're going to be in the mid-80s here in the greater Sacramento area. So it should be a really fun week. Okay? Hasta luego.